Hello, my friends. So we need to keep making this cart page. Or we will make a template for cart page. Just uh, this all of the template. And after that, we will populate the fetch data in the browser. So last time, we already brought over the information for this data, like image and quantity and the price. So we can just uh, populate them in here. Uh, after that, we will calculate total amount of products price inside the cart. So in here, so now we have two items. The one is the $400 and then $300. So it becomes $700 when you buy, remove this one, it becomes just $300. If I just remove this one too, I like this. So we also need to calculate this to total amount of product price inside the cart. So we also need to make the remove from the cart feature. This is what we need to do in this video. So first we will make a template for cart page. So go to our, our text editor in here. So now first I want to turn on my application and PM run dev. So we are inside our application. So first we need to make the template. Uh, like this so go back to text editor and cart page so from in here So save it and then come back to our application like this. So for this one, just we are going to make the component for just this part. So component name will be this user part block. So but we don't have this one. So first uh, import this one from uh, inside the cart page. We will make the uh, name a uh, folder name sections and then inside the sections further user card block js rfce user card block in here so sections and user card blocks and so now save it come back to our application so you can see a user card block in here. So by going to user card block. So save it, come back to our application again. So you can see like this. And when we don't have any items in here, And then go back to our application here. Oh, you can see everything in here is so messy right now because we didn't give any condition for this one and this one. So we will give the condition later. So first, um, we need to populate the fetch data in the browser. So uh, we get all of the data inside the Redux in here. Uh, first, we need to log in to get this one. Uh, log in in here, okay, and then go to cart page. 
if we see our Redux store, so uh, we don't have any the product inside the cart, so we need to put some other product inside the cart. One cart and uh, two cards will come in here. And then see this cart cart detail, just two products inside the cart detail. And, and even in this cart, so we have two products. So with these two products or uh, cart details, as so I'm going to uh, populate these two data in template. So, so inside is the component. So this component, so we put the uh, products information as a prop, so user and cart or detail. Mm, this one will be uh, props, props, user and cart detail. So in here, this cart detail inside in here, and then go to user cart block in here. Uh, we need to have the key body so we will make the helper method in here render items I'll make that one in here Just like this also uh, props and, and products products when we have that our uh, products so props and products and we will map over the one and product tr So now we save it, come back to our application. So now we can see the data is populated in the browser now. But we don't have this image in here. But inside this image, but we cannot just do like this HTTP, like localhost uh, 5000 and product image. We cannot just do like this because, you know, inside the product image does not, we have uh, more than one images, not just one image. If we only have one image in here, we can do like that, but we have more than one image. So uh, if we have uh, inside the array, we have a hello.png and the i.png like this, we only use this the first image and then put it in here. So to do that, uh, first we are going to move this one there. So blender cart image, and we need to put the product and images. So we want to just uh, render first image for this image. So images. If images and length is a more than zero, let image and images the in first index one, this one, and return this one like this. Uh, this one has to be this one. So ah, this one, this one, this one. So now I'm going to save it. Go back to our application again. Oh, still we couldn't see this one. Location. Ah, I'm sorry about that. This needs to be 5000 instead of 5500. So now we can see the image in here. So now we finished um, this step two. So we need to do the step three, calculate total amount of product price inside the cart. So come back to our cart page in here. So now we have this uh, price information. 
and confirm this the uh, card detail. So inside in here we have price information. So by doing this one, so we can have this card detail information uh, inside the Redux. So we can just do something after this one, but we can also do like this, use effect, and then so we make one more the condition for here. So we have two ways. Or you can just keep going from here and you can start from here again for the calculate the total amount of price. So end user cart detail and props and user cart detail and length is uh, higher than one. So we will uh, make some function for the calculate total number of this price. but we make the function in here name will be the calculate total like this and select total comes a start from zero dollar and we need to put that one in here and inside in here we will put the this all of the car detail information this one car detail so all of the card detail information in here. So in here, card detail. So by using this one, card detail and map over card detail and item and total plus. So parse into because this will be the number. So item the price. So this one, uh, we will plus or all of this price, and and this price. So pro plus all of the price in here. So when we also need to uh, multiply this quantity, uh, this quantity in here. So item quantity so we put this total uh, after making the state so user state and then total so initial state will be zero so we need to get this one from react so set total in here so this total and we need to put this total uh, inside the template in here so save it and come back to our application refresh the page okay uh maybe this one uh, this one we need to put this one again so we can trigger this one so refresh the page so now we can see this is seven hundred dollar uh by uh, plus this one and this one. So before we keep doing for this one, first I'm just going to the pause the video because it's gonna be too long. So if the video is too long, it will be really boring and it's hard to watch. So I'm going to pause right now and then uh, I will come back in here later for the this the remove from the cart feature. So thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Thank you.